Hello, my name is Josh Beck. I'm a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas. And this particular tutorial over the Blender, we're going to cover sculpting tools. Um, sculpting tools are pretty easy to use, and they're nice to have at your disposal when you're modeling or working with animations or uh, game design or anything else. So down here at the bottom where it says Object Mode, we're going to click on it, and we're going to kick it up to Sculpt Mode. Okay, And that's going to allow us to sculpt our figure. And you can see the cursor changes to a circle. All right, um, we're going to add multiers, and that basically is going to add faces to this cube. We're going to turn it into a sphere, or close to a sphere anyway. By clicking Add Multiers, I can click Add Level, Add Level again, Add Level again. And you can see each time I add levels, it subdivided the cube's faces so that now we've got uh, more faces. And you can see up at the top how many faces you're actually working with. Where it says FA, we've got 384 faces now on this cube. If I were to continue to um, add levels, okay, that number would increase to the point where it would like max out the processor. So you don't want to add too many levels unless you've got uh, a, just a really powerful stack of machines, okay? Uh, you could try it, but you'll notice that your program will probably at some point slow down. All right. Uh, so now that we are in sculpt mode and we've added four levels to our cube, and it looks like this. I'm going to hit the N is in Nancy button, and I'm going to bring up my Sculpt Properties window, which is over here. Okay, um, this allows us to sort of manipulate the circular uh, cursor that we're looking at here. And in this case, we are in Draw mode, and we're going to add to the shape. Now I'm going to size it down. I'm going to make the size of it. Uh, let's go ahead and see here. 19. All right, that's fine. Or we can just make it 20, even. You can see the size of the cursor has changed. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make it. Let's make it half that. Let's make it uh, 10. See if that's going to work. All right, that's a little bit smaller. And uh, the strength and the size that we're going to add. I'm going to add strength to it. There we go. 37. You know, just sort of bump it up a little bit. Uh, the first thing. Oh, we also need to include symmetry. Uh, everything that we change on this, we're going to mirror over the x-axis. So I need to click symmetry x. Okay. So let's go ahead and put some eyebrows, all right? And uh, let's go ahead and make the size a little bigger because it's not working the way I want. There we go. All right, and I'm pulling out the eyebrows. And you can see because of the number of faces that I've got, um, it's not really doing what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add one more level under multiers. All right, and we're going to add some more resolution to it. And uh, let's go ahead and try to sculpt now. It's a little bit easier with five levels. All right. We've got some eyebrows that are starting to stick up there. Kind of bushy. It's almost a unibrow. But that's okay because this is going to be a monster face. And uh, unibrows certainly can be scary sometimes. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do is let's go to where it says shape. Instead of we're in draw mode, instead of add, Let's go to subtract, and uh, we're going to hollow out where the eyeballs are supposed to be. You can see that by putting it in subtract mode and uh, clicking in there, we can sort of hollow out the eyeball area. And once again, you can increase the strength of that, and you could make the um, subtraction even stronger. All right, so we've got some basic hollowing out there. All right. Take a look. You can see that we've got some eyebrows with some eyeballs starting to stick out, starting to starting to stand out there. I'm going to kick it back into add mode, okay? And let's just go ahead and do the nose. All right. Let's see what we got here. And once again, if you make a mistake, you can always hit Control Z. I just made a mistake there. Right down the center. And because I'm using the number of multiers that I am right now, and the screencasting software, it's a little choppy on my end, so it's taking a little longer than I'm comfortable with right now, but there's just not a lot I can do about it. And it's, it, it kind of keeps me from um, making the model that I really want to make during the screen capture. But there we go, we pulled out the nose, okay, and that's going to work. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm just going to add some uh, ellipse to it real quick. 
Okay, and all this is being done in draw and add. All right, so now we've got lips, we've got eyes, and we've got a nose. Okay, uh, let's go ahead over here to our sculpt properties. And we're going to go to uh, the grab this time. And we're going to make the size all the way. We're going to maximize the size of the grab tool to 200. Okay, and you can see that it's gotten pretty big there. All right, and uh, we're going to pull the chin out. All right, and let's go ahead and see if I can get it right. Not quite. I'll get down a little lower. Not quite what I want. Nope. All right. And by using the grab tool and pulling it out, you can see it. Some of you may have a mother in law that looks like this. All right. Um, we have pulled out the chin. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and use the layer tool. Okay. And by layering, uh, you have to keep clicking because it will only raise the model a certain amount and then you have to click again. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, change the size, we'll take the size down a little bit, and we'll make the strength a little bit more for the layer. And let's go ahead and make some ears, okay? Um, here I am on the side of the model. And let's go ahead and make the size a little smaller. All right. And by clicking, you have to keep clicking in order to get it to, to layer, and it just keeps raising it up a little bit more each time. the size a little bigger, the strength a little higher. I maximized the strength that time. Made it layer as much as I could. Okay, so you can see that by each time, by dragging over it, all right, it raises the surface just a little bit. And I could just basically keep dragging over that ear like that. All right and it would just keep layering it up and up and up. All right, so let's take a look. You can see that the ears are starting to stand out. And let's go ahead and once again in layer, the same principles apply. I could go into subtract mode, and I could hollow out where the actual um, ear is supposed to be. Right here. By clicking and layering inside. Sort of hollow it out just a little bit. Okay. So we've got a monster head starting to take shape. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use the grab tool. I'm going to size it down. I'm in grab mode. And let's just go ahead and pull the ears up a little bit. Pointy ears. All right. And uh, we're going to add another level to our multi-ears. All right. And what you can do is you can come over here to where it says um, smooth. OK. And once again, we've got our smooth brush. And I'll take the size down a little bit. And if you see points, you know, that are maybe a little bumpy, you just want to smooth them out a little bit. The smooth brush is going to work for you. It just sort of finds areas that uh, are maybe jagged, and it attempts to uh, smooth surfaces a little bit. So that smooth brush is a good one to sort of refine um, your models with. Uh, the inflate brush is the last one we'll use right here. If I pick the inflate brush, I'll go ahead and I'll set the strength up a little bit and the size down. I can take the nose, and uh, I'm going to inflate where the nose is right now. It's a little bit big, so I'm not sure this is going to work. But you can see that, yeah, it makes the nose kind of bulbous. It kind of inflates. It's kind of like blowing up a balloon, right? Um, and uh, there we have it. Using sculpt tools, um, we created a basic face, all right, a monster head. Um, and we used draw. We used grab. We used smooth. We used inflate, we used add, subtract, and um, everything we did was mirrored across the x-axis. So there you go, basic introduction to uh, sculpting tools. Thanks for watching, and uh, keep an eye out for our next tutorial.